Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the webinar, Hot Topics in Pediatric Minimal Invasive uh, Surgery, uh, a collaboration between the UPSA and Carl Storitz Endoscopes um, and the UPSA Education Office. Um, I'm happy to uh, welcome also my co-chair, um, Professor Ciro Esposito. He is um, Chief of Pediatric Surgery uh, in Federico, the second University of Naples, Italy. We have uh, several topics for you today. Uh, Duodenal atresia, pyelonidal sinus disease, laparoscopic pyelomyotomy, and um, ICG applications in pediatric surgery. Um, yeah, Chiro, welcome. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have that webinar with you together. How are you today? Thank you very much, uh, Martin. Uh, it's a pleasure to share this uh, webinar with you. Hello, everybody. Uh, I think there are four interesting uh, topics. Uh, we have not a lot of time to discuss uh, all the topics for this reason. I think uh, it's better to start. Uh, and I Thank you very much. Uh, um, I will speak my last presentation is focused on pediatric application of ICG fluorescence technology. Uh, as you know, uh, I think in pediatric uh, mini invasive surgery, the technique anatomy structure is uh, extremely important. Uh, and uh, for this reason, the imaging technology as well pediatric surgeon. I had the pleasure to have in my operative theater this uh, system. I have uh, an OR1 two operative rooms with uh, the ICG fluorescence imaging system. I will uh, show you a little bit what we can do using this technology. As you know, ICG is uh, a fluorescent dye and is a water soluble molecule. And uh, the history is was used for the first time in photography and uh, is received the, the uh, FDA approval for humans uh, more than 40 years ago. As for pharmacodynamics, uh, uh, ICG become rapidly bound to albumin and is near instantaneously visualized with the target organs. And there is a lot of indication in pediatric patients. Uh, the adults start to use this technology, then uh, uh, in pediatric surgery we start to adopt this technology four years ago. It is important to standardize the dosage, the administration, and above all the, time of, the timing of injection of ICG, because uh, as you can see, it varies uh, uh, depending on different indication. In our preliminary experience, uh, the, the main indication are gallbladder pathologies in case of a cholecystectomy, varicocele to perform a uh, uh, lymphatic sparing procedure, then in renal surgery, above all for partial nephrectomy or renal kiss for tumors or in case of lymphomas. I would like to show you in this presentation with some videos which which is the indication and the advantage. For sure, to use this technology, you, know, you need a special camera, a special optic, and uh, uh, thanks to this camera and optic, a laser on the laparoscope excites the ICG, and then you have the possibility to see the structure green colored. The surgeon has a pedal and uh, the surgeon can switch from uh, normal view to ICG view. And the cholecystectomy, one of the main indications, because uh, as you know, in pediatric surgery, there is not uh, a lot of cholecystectomy per year. And above all, uh, in teenagers, when there is a lot of fat, I think it's important to have a good view. As you can see, in pediatric centers, there are at least 10 to 30 cholecystectomy per year. And the risk is that you can have bile duct injuries, and for this reason, you need to have a good view. Above all, in case of difficult cases like this, in this case, you have not a clear anatomy of the structures. 
for this reason, you can use the, the ICG technology because you can identify biliary anatomy and you can have during the procedure a real time biliary imaging. And uh, uh, this fluorescent dye is injected uh, intravenously and uh, is able to show you the biliary tract. It's important to standardize the time of injection because if you inject intraoperatively, you will see only the liver, but not the biliary tree. For this reason, the timing for cholecystectomy is to inject uh, intravenously ICG the day before surgery, 15 to 18 hours before, because in this way, the, um, the ICG go to the liver, then it will be extracted from uh, the liver in the biliary tree and you can see. As for the dosage for cholecystectomy, you have to put 10 liter of sterile water inside the vial, and then you have to inject six milliliter intravenously the day before surgery. And this is, you can see, this is normal view, you can switch and you can see very well the biliary tree, the main biliary tree, the cystic duct, and the fatty tissue remain yellow and for this reason you can have a safe dissection. With the pedal you can switch from normal view to ICG view. This is a difficult case, as you can see a lot of adhesion is not clear the biliary anatomy. For this reason, you can switch, you close the focus, and you can see there is a, an angulation of the infudibulum and of the cystic duct. And this is a huge advantage because you can prefer a safe uh, dissection. And then uh, you can start the dissection, switching from normal to ICG. As you can see, in a normal view, it's difficult to identify the structure, but if you switch, uh, to ICG view, uh, you can see very well where is the sick duct and you can complete the dissection safer. And then this is another case of oicolecystectomy. As you can see, how do you have a clear view of uh, the bladder, cystic duct and the main biliary tree? I, 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 in, I think in this way you can have zero complication because you have a very good biliary anatomy uh, during your procedures. And uh, you can use also during uh, the gallbladder removal, as you can see, you can see the fire during the gallbladder removal because the gallbladder is green and you can easily remove it without damaging it. Another indication is for partial nephrectomy. In partial nephrectomy, we have two problems. First of all, to identify the uterus because uh, the, re the moiety that we have to remove has a huge ureter and we have uh, to uh, avoid damaging the normal ureter. For this reason, we have to identify it. And then you have to identify the uh, vascularization of the moiety that we have to remove. As for partial nephrectomy, we have to perform the ICG injection intraoperatively, and you can see which is uh, the result. This is, uh, we have to remove the lower moiety, we inject uh, the ICG. As you can see, the kidney, there is a small artery uh, from of the lower moiety, and there is another artery that came directly to the main renal vessel. In this way, you have a clear anatomy and you can treat the two vessels. And you can switch, as I told you, from a normal view to ICG view. But as you can see, you have a very, very good view of the vascularization. And then, this is a, a, always a partial nephrectomy. It's difficult to identify the normal ureter. We put a catheter inside it to inject the via cystoscopy and you can inject the ICG and you can see the normal ureter colored in green. If you close the focus, you have a better view and it's absolutely fantastic because you have a very clear view of the normal ureter and then you can start the dissection. As you can see, you can uh, divide uh, the uh, dilated ureter and you can save the normal ureter that is colored 
in, in green. And then for, for sure at the end of procedure, after ligation of the vascularization of the moiety that you have to remove, you can see the difference because between the, the vascularized moiety, the lower part, and uh, the well vascularized moiety in green. And in this way, you can resect, you can mark under coagulation the difference, the line of resection, and then you can resect the lower moiety. And in this part, it's a semi useful to use ICG to see the, the vascularization of the lower moiety. And then you can use also to treat the renal kist, or as I told you, to treat varicocele. Uh, varicocele, I think, uh, uh, the uh, one of the technique that uh, is uh, adopted in uh, children is laparoscopic palomo. The problem is that if you ligate uh, with the spermatic bundle, the lymphatics, you can have uh, an hydrocele after surgery. For this reason, it's important to perform a lymphatic sparing procedure. And ICG is the way to do it. As you can see, we inject uh, ICG in the testes, and as you can see, the lymphatic became uh, green and is extremely easy to dissect them and this way you can save a couple of lymphatics and we have zero percent of hydrocele and as i told you we can switch from a uh, uh, normal view to icg view and you can separate the lymphatics from uh, the dermatic bundle and you can switch from normal to icg view and then this is the end of procedure. We cut, we clips and cut the spermatic bundle and you can see the lymphatics remain viable. In this way, the patients have no hydrocele after surgery. And this is um, another indication as for the lymphomas, uh, these patients have a suspicious, suspicious node in the thorax. So we inject the ICG in the lung and then we identify the nodes are green colored and then we remove it but as i told you there are a lot of indications that uh, we can have and then we can discover our indication for sure and then recently we have the possibility to try a new source camera called rubina and uh, as i told you the old uh, icg system you have to switch from a normal to icg and uh, the screen uh, uh, became back uh, white. Thanks to Rubina camera, you keep the color. And this is uh, the video with uh, a Rubina cholecystectomy. As you can see, you keep the screen in color and uh, the gallbladder and the biliary tree remain colored in green. And in this way, you can perform uh, a safe dissection. And it's the same from uh, this, and you can, perform a same dissection at the level of the calo triangle. And uh, this is the same from varicocele. Like before, you inject in the testes, you can see the lymphatics, and you can dissect the lymphatic easily and uh, sparing them. You have uh, no hydrosteel, absolutely a uh, fantastic uh, view. And then uh, you have the possibility to change the color uh, with Rubina camera. You can see the blue uh, color. Then you can switch to black and white uh, or to green uh, color, as I already show you. And then you can perform uh, the Palomo procedure clipping and section uh, the spermatic bundle. In conclusion, some consideration. To use this technology, you need the special equipment, special camera, optic, and for sure, ICG vial. The timing of injection change according to the indication. For the cholecystectomy is the day before surgery, uh, 15 to 18 hours before. For other indication, kidney, uh, nodes, uh, tumor, uh, intraoperatively, also for varicocele. For varicocele, you have to inject uh, directly into the testes. I think that there is real advantage for the surgeon and no adverse effect in our experience. You can use the same vial for six hours. For this reason, 
you can put saline solution, you can inject the in different patients, but maximum for six hours. And then, uh, in, in conclusion, the main indication are cholecystectomy. I think huge advantage, partial nephrectomy too, varicocele and lymphomas tumors, but probably in the next few years we will have uh, other indication. And uh, in conclusion, uh, uh, I think that ICG fluorescence is a safe, useful and versatile technique to adopt in pediatric uh, MIS. Uh, and I think that you can have a better visualization of surgical anatomy. I think that the main advantage is that using the technology, you can help surgeons uh, to reduce complication. And I think uh, in selected cases, uh, this technique increase safety of laparoscopic procedure. And uh, uh, if you want to, uh, to go to Naples, you have the possibility to see in animal model the ICG technique in the October course, and for sure we will have um, the our live surgery symposium of ICG in November. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and then if there is a possibility, if you have uh, questions on this topic. Thank you very much, Gio. I really enjoyed this this talk. Great pictures, also. What impressed me the most was in the varicocelectomy, where you really nicely can um, can visualize the lymphatic vessels and maybe really have less uh, hydrocells. So there are five or six questions. Um, one question is: Do you admit the patients um, for the injection, like one day in advance? Uh, the, 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 as I told you, the as for the cholecystectomy is the only procedure in which you have to inject uh, in advance uh, the ICG. But uh, in our experience, I prefer to use routinely this procedure because uh, also for training, I think it's extremely important. And you have to inject uh, the day before surgery. At the beginning, uh, we inject... Uh, uh, the, in the first case, is uh, uh, intraoperatively, and you can see only the liver because uh, the ICG go first one to the liver, then is metabolized from the liver, and then is extracted in the bile uh, after 12 hours. For this reason, after 15 hours, you have no uh, liver visible, and you can see also only the biliary tree, and I think there are wonderful pictures. Thank you. Um, the second question is about the liver also. Is this technique already used for cases of biliary tresia instead of intraoperative called angiogram? I think uh, we have no experience uh, in this pathology, but I think that it can be uh, used for this pathology too. Yeah. Um, do you inject um, every patient um, going for bladder surgery or only the expected difficult cases? I uh, started for the, for difficult cases because, as you know, sometimes uh, I operated uh, last week uh, a young lady of 100 kilos. And uh, I think we have a lot of fat at, le at the level of chylo triangle and I think it's better to have a good view. For this reason, uh, we started with difficult cases, but now we use uh, routinely this procedure because the only limitation is that uh, you need for sure the camera and then the optic that you can reuse and you have to use the vial. But uh, the cost of each vial is 30 euro. For this reason, I think you can use uh, routinely without problem. Okay. Another question, what is the fluorescence effect if ICG gets diluted in saline instead of uh, sterile water? Uh, because uh, you have to dilute the ICG and uh, as I told you, the dosage, it changed according, accordingly to the indication. As for the gallbladder, we dilute with uh, 10 milliliter of sterile water and we have to inject six milliliter 
intravenously. As for, for example, for the kidney, you have to inject dilute in the same way and then to inject two milliliter intravenously during surgery. As for the varicocele, you have to inject uh, two milliliter directly inside the testicular parenchyma. For this reason, the dilution is the same, but uh, the way of administration change according to the pathology. Okay, so did I uh, got you correct? The, the, in the testicular parenchyma? Yeah, directly inside. Of, uh, wow. So I would be concerned of maybe fertility because there's no data how this affects the fertility, no? We, uh, as you know, we published uh, at least 10 years ago because before ICG, we use uh, the sulfan blue to do the same thing, uh, to perform uh, lymphatic sparing. And uh, isosulfan blue was used by adults uh, uh, intratesticular for seminomas or for testicular cancer. And there are a lot of study of, on adults that there are no consequences uh, as for testicular function and fertility. And we start a study um, with uh, ICG to demonstrate the same, but uh, our preliminary result, there is uh, no damage for the testes. Okay. Just a note from the Sturz company, Sturz Light Sturz is without laser, so no laser is needed. Another question okay. is um, for viewing the ureter, um, is it to inject the ICG through the urinary catheter and what's the dosage and what's the injection time? Uh, 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 when we perform a partial nephrectomy, uh, before starting with the laparoscopic procedure, I prefer to position a urinary catheter uh, inside the normal ureter to identify it. And uh, uh, in this way, we leave this catheter in the normal ureter. And then when we are inside the abdominal cavity in laparoscopy, we inject one, two milliliter inside the catheter, and this way you can identify the ureter colored in green. I think this is a, a very, very good indication because sometimes the two ureter are attached and it's difficult to identify the normal ureter that is too small adjacent to the other. Yeah, true, true. I can confirm that. So another question, how do you dose the ICG? Have you experimented with different concentrations? I think, uh, uh, as you know, ICG were, was uh, used, first of all, in Japan. And there are a lot of uh, experimental study on animal and then also in adults. For this reason, we used the same uh, uh, those are that the adults use uh, for uh, these procedures. Uh, question for age limit, youngest patient's age? It depends. Uh, I think uh, for uh, partial nephrectomy, I think two years. Varicose here okay. are older and also oh. very protective. And um, just to reconfirm, um, because there's a question, you had no adverse effects so far from the ICG. No, no adverse effect. In general, uh, we, we, we uh, check with the patients that they have no allergy to contracts mean, and uh, if there is no allergy, there is no problem. However, we adopt this technology on a lot of patients without adverse effect. Okay, um, and then final question. Um, do you have experience with ICG camera of different brands? Uh, no, I, I think that, uh, as you know, uh, uh, I probably, uh, I don't know if there is other brands that use uh, this technique, I use only stores, uh, the uh, old one, the standard one that you have to switch with the pedal and uh, the maid uh, becomes uh, black and white and you can see the anatomy in green 
or the new Rubina uh, camera in, uh, with this technique, uh, the uh, image remains in color. Then uh, ICG technology is integrated in robotic Da Vinci system. It's called Firefly and uh, uh, you can push the button during the procedure and you can switch to ICG view and is already integrated in Da Vinci XI system. Okay, and then there was the uh, a final question about Colodoc cyst. Any experience and at one time to inject? I have no experience, but I have scheduled a couple of patients uh, and I will give you okay. my opinion uh, after summer. Good.